So I tried to put one of these together for you. This little clip thing is called a stripper clip. Well, sir, here's the deal. Brand new day. It was windy to beat the band. The whole truck was a rocking and no one came a knocking. Um, but we are down in the valley floor where the uh, mock battle took place. Breakfast is cooking. That's uh, ravioli. And um, there's uh, bomb craters and stuff here. In fact, if you look right there where that little bush is, the closest big bush right there, that's a bomb crater. And looking at Google Earth, there's lots of bomb craters across this valley, mostly concentrated on that side. Uh, quite a few of them over there. So we're gonna walk over there this morning. I was hoping the wind was gonna die down a little bit though, because, well, <laughs> listen. Hopefully we'll see you out there walking around. If not, we might see you tomorrow somewhere else. You should have seen it when I uh, had my door open on my truck, my uh, driver's side door, and I opened up the back to get something I had out of there. And the uh, wind came through like a wind tunnel right through my truck, and the dust just rolled out of it. It looked like it was on fire. That's how much dust I have in there. Anyway, I'm standing in the lee of the truck so it's not too windy. Let's go ahead and look at that little bomb crater across the road, and then we're going to travel to those nearest hills over there it looks like there's a lot of activity all right see the dust flying down there i'm glad we're not on one of those dry lakes like we were earlier in the trip boy that would have been horrible it's just like it's just like a white out of dust <laughs> looking for cars i haven't seen a car i haven't seen a car in two days there's a road here it goes up to a, a tower of some sort this is going to be a uh, little bomb crater you can see it's round We'll look for artifacts too there should be some little things around them again this is government land so we can't keep anything but it doesn't hurt if we look too much <laughs> it's an old can i hate to pick these things up for scorpions i don't know how old that is but somebody sure did use a interesting technique to open that heard that's actually kind of cool that's art right there all right so i think there's twenty thousand soldiers participated in this mock battle and again, what they did is they were pretending that this would be like a desert battle in North Africa. This was before we went to North Africa in 42. We put in gun emplacements and foxholes and all kinds of stuff in here. Then the uh, army came in, the Army Air Force first, came in with their bombers and they bombed the heck out of it. And then the uh, artillery shelled it. And then the tanks came in and just blasted everything. Uh, the soldiers didn't stay up here, of course, when they were doing that because they were all got killed, but um, that's what happened. There's one interesting story I was reading. Talked about how they were observing this. I don't know if it was uh, you know, officers or press or whatever from the distance. And they talked about how the planes came in, they dropped bombs, they came back, they strafed with the machine guns, the artillery was taken, you know, started shooting, the tanks went in blasting. They looked off on one of these hillsides, maybe right there even. They saw some movement up there, you know, the smoke and the dust was starting to clear. And so they got the field glasses out and they look up there and there's like a lonely, a single lonely prospector, looked like from the 1800s, they said, leading a burrow down out of the hills, acting like nothing was going on. <laughs> it's either crazy as a coot or deaf and maybe blind. All right, let's go that way. Could be tank tracks in here. I'm not 100%, but you can see how wide that is. And going across here, um, you see these two, see how wide they are? And if you look at it from uh, Google Earth, it's really kind of interesting. Some tank treads, and that would be 1942, which is a long time ago. My hat. I guess I'm buying beer tonight. <laughs> Come on, Jig. A bunch of big cans. That looks like peaches to me for some reason. That first thing that came to mind. Hey, let's drop down into a, one of these little canyon thingies. Oreo and uh get out of this wind we'll just walk up it for a while if we can it's a big sweep in this uh in the stream bed here so i was hoping maybe something might have gotten washed out that we could see that people you know, wouldn't have scavenged over the last 70 years but still not seeing much anything here's some barbed wire and from what i understand looking at pictures they had a lot of this stuff strung around the positions 
the fighting position so we could be getting close and barbed wire was actually very common commonly used and kind of still is except we use what's called concertina wire now which is like barbed wire razor blade like edges but even from world war one on you string barbed wire out in front of you the artillery of the planes but the advancing infantry on foot will get to that stuff and kind of get tangled up and at least slow down a little bit and that way you can pick them off i just saw this big old tie down thingy with barbed wire on it that's something you screw into the ground so this is what i was thinking might have been a uh, bomb crater but it's possible this could be just a defensive fighting position you notice all these cans out here see what they're opened with yeah see these are opened with uh p like a p38 it's a little it's a little tiny tool about this long you can collect that and you open cans with it This is where they would have had infantry probably down in these little things protecting the hill. And right up here is a, another big emplacement. This would probably have like an anti-tank gun or something sitting here. Or a machine gun that could sweep the plane coming up. You see some dust rising. That could be somebody coming up this way. People wonder why you find World War II stuff in the United States. This is one of the reasons. Shell casings. <laughs> Come on. Go watch out for scorpions. Saw this first. So this is a clip that the bullets would, uh, the casings would set in. This is for bolt action rifle uh, 42. So that was freshly made. See, it's fired. Got a little dimple in the primer. And it's got a weird top. So I'm going to say that's some type of blank, maybe. Eh, kind of cool. A whole bunch of them out here. Popping away. Weird to have the spread out here, though. The fighting position is in here because a guy, probably right-handed, you click the bolt, it would go out that way. So they must have been stand they must have been over here firing i guess it's weird to be in front and i know that's from a bolt action where well, i'm assuming because of that this clip the clip that i found that is definitely 100 a bolt action uh rifle <laughs> awesome dude thanks we found something so i tried to put one of these together for you this little clip thing is called a stripper clip and what you do is this would have i think five rounds lined up in it I guess how much the uh, rifle would have held and I had the uh, rounds lined up with like this so when you open your bolt and you want to load the gun you turned it like that and you put this into the in internal magazine and you pushed it down and all these would just slide down into the gun so you could load it really fast stripper clip can you imagine running over that with your truck out here driving around so they would have had barbed wire strung across the hillside you know tied down with that and i cannot believe that thing's still there it looks so dangerous see they looked like they rolled it all up and so they took it down the army took all this took all this stuff down that's interesting took all this stuff down and hauled away a lot of the stuff off these camps and these battlefields small battlefields i guess that's the type of post they used in world war ii not too much different than what we would see today that's how where the wire would hook in right there huh pretty cool isn't it pole one of those straps just sat around goofing off and kind of just folded it up like that probably bored as heck some more poles over there so they i'm sure they had wire strung all across here i just love this stuff man it's awesome so this is pretty interesting this tells the story of this little can you notice it's not cut open like with a p38 or can opener it just got a cut in it right here now that was done with a bayonet some soldier took his bayonet and jammed it down in there and opened it up and this tells me this had liquid in it probably like a coffee creamer you know condensed milk that's what i'm trying to say but yeah he opened it with a bayonet pretty cool so I got out of that blasted wind for a few minutes get down to this little little cut and it's all this this is a but the barbed wire would come on this is it's all mashed up but you still find these things i mean they still make them today you know the same basic design it's a uh ration tin in there that's a uh man i would not want to fight behind one of those look at them all wow bullets go zipping right through those holes maybe they had dirt piled up in front of them i don't know really close together too aren't they seems scattered around this hillside 
more barbed wire. Gotta be careful of this stuff. And there's a bunch of it going across here. You know what's weird though is I had not seen a single human track uh, since I left the road. <laughs> Look at it all down there. Jeez. Watch your step, boys. I guess people just don't come out here. Must not find it interesting enough. Now that would ruin your day if you're off-roading. All that barbed wire going up through there. And it goes way up through the valley. And it goes way down through the valley there. There's a bunch of stripper clips here, so... Someone's down here with a bolt-action rifle. So that's where we just found a couple of stripper clips. And I came over to this other hole. And there's lots of cartridges in here. See where tracks come right across the top of it, they drill right through it. <laughs> First old tank. There's a line of holes coming up through here that this looks like a bomb crater to me. So maybe they were dropping bombs here, just small ones, but having these holes this close together, and they're all in a line going right up through here. See a bunch more. So that could be a stick that was dropped out of a plane, uh, you know, plowing into the ground right up through here, I guess. It's possible. It's just really odd I'm not seeing any fragments because um, I usually have a pretty good eye for rusty stuff like that. <laughs> you know me, rusty stuff. I can see it. That's a little bit of a pour off here. Got to make sure there's no sneakies down there anywhere. A couple rocks. Give me a warning. Any rattles? <laughs> Don't hear any rattles. I think they might rattle if we threw a rock at them, don't you? Um, wow, that's cool, isn't it? Look at that. A little ledge like that. It's got a little castle. That's cool right there. Look at that. That's still almost standing, that barbed wire fence. Isn't that neat? Well, it is standing, technically. Look there. But all those little... Uh, the first one we saw just had the little ling, 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 lings on it. That one has had one. That has four. You see it's still standing across there. This barbed wire would have been going all the way up that direction, probably all the way across the valley to where we just came from. Dangerous stuff if you're out here on a four-wheeler. This looks like a modern campfire. They would not have had campfires out here during the maneuvers, I'm sure. What's that? Ooh, yeah, let's pick it up. That is the battery core. That's a battery, and that is carbon right there. That could be World War II era. Probably is. I just love this. That's so cool. That is so neat. Imagine those things spread all over Europe. That is part of an exploded bomb. Awesome. Made a little house out of this one. Look, that's where they sat right there. That's <laughs> all right, man. All right. Somebody's just definitely pitching stuff over the sides. I can't tell how old that is, though. Communications wire that we found all over the place. That's it, folks. I gotta get some drink. I'm gonna give you a quick look at the road, what it looks like going this way instead of coming through the pass. As you can see, it's a lot nicer. It's a little bit sandy here and there, but this is actually the worst, the worst part of what I've seen right here. It's kind of weird just to see it in the middle of nowhere. It's must have been some type of plan here, I guess. Might be some tracks, railroad tracks, or not that way. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're 
dying or if you're living or somewhere in between mother earth you are my lady my big round baby and i'll rock you until i go to sleep she'll shake the coins from your pocket take your gold chain and